Welcome to Live Edge, episode number next. My name is Matt. I'm Amy. Welcome to the show. Tonight we're going to be talking about fear. Fear, fear, fear holds us all back uh, for no reason, really, a lot of times. Uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. First off, I want to get to the sawdust spotlight right out of the gate. I heard a pup. Mr. Tony Goins uh, is our sawdust spotlight this week. K99 Private reached out to him, asked if he could donate some stocking stuffers. 34 K9 handlers he made these for. Check that out. That is really cool. And just an awesome, awesome thing to do, man. We like refrigerator magnets with the blue line. I like it. Excellent work. Make sure you drop those states. Drop, 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 drop those them, states. Drop them, drop them, drop them. Drop, drop, drop it. Drop, drop, drop it low. What's so, that off of? Uh, Rio. Rio. Rio, <laughs> Rio, Rio. Hey, Mr. James Wingate, we're doing good. So somebody asked a question before we get started. Um, what was that question? If you had it pulled up. Oh, hold on. Let me go back to it. It was about the online classes. Which Do you one? want me to? Uh, shoot. Let me see. Okay. Right there. I don't know what I did. I don't even know. Can you see it? Yeah. All right. He has gone silent. I was looking at online classes. Mm. So um, the the classes I thought about doing uh, was somebody asked if I was to do one, what would I do them on? And then somebody asked if I was going to do them before the show started on this stream. So my my idea for a course would be for an Etsy course to be able to take you from not having a store or if you, even if you got one a little bit started to actually making sales on there regularly. Uh, I was able to do that. I think we just passed a thousand sales on Etsy uh, this couple of weeks ago. And so it doesn't sound like a lot, but you make enough stove covers and you sell. I sold several hundred of those on there. And now I've transitioned into digital products and uh, board butter that we sell on our store and on Etsy. And so I kind of, I feel like I've got it figured out good enough. I could teach people how to do that. So that's kind of one of my thing. And uh, that's what I'd like to do. Thank you. Mark Peterson says I'm going to budget a thousand dollars for a table saw going to make cutting boards using hardwood. What saw would you recommend? Man, a thousand bucks. Um, if you look at the new rigid table saw, it's, it's the rebranded Delta 36725T2. That's going to be about six fifty, And then after taxes, you're looking at probably $750-ish. It's a really good saw for that price. Uh, above that, you might can find a good saw on Grizzly. Um, maybe, I, man, I, I haven't priced any lately. So maybe, uh, uh, da, 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 da. let's see, man. I would probably go with the rigid. Cause you're gonna have a little bit of money left over and then that's just a really good solid saw super jack there you go i had to turn up so what ha happens is when i have the music going and we it turns i have to turn it down so it's not overpowering and then our super chat button goes away oh is that one you can so I, i've turned gotcha, the music gotcha, off gotcha. got it fixed now oh if you can get the delta on sale that's even better uh they've they're kind of out mode in those i think so that's what i do for three hundred and forty dollars, for the Delta thirty seven thirty six, hey, that is a steal, y'all. I'm telling you right now, if you can get that Delta for three hundred and forty dollars, you going you walk out of there feeling like you stole it. I'm telling you, it is that's an excellent deal. Just run when you walk out. Yeah, just take off running, see what happens. In a mad sprint. <laughs> just see what happens. Yeah, we've talked about doing that so many times. Baby, why you keep getting so quiet? Uh, I'm reading. I can't read and talk. <laughs> <laughs> that guy says, can you make uh, also make an intro video? I just getting into this. You're literally the reason why. So thank you. Uh, so like an introduction to woodworking kind of thing. Maybe I need to put that on the channel. Just something like start from the very basics. A few, maybe a series on that. That might be an interesting series to do. What's up, Lloyd? Lloyd's in the house. Congratulations. Uh, our own Ronnie Lloyd Wagoner won a uh, mallet on Married Man or on Woodworking YouTubers live stream last night hosted by Married Man. 
from the Mr. James King from King's Fine Woodwork, and he got him a, a nice mallet on the way. So that's awesome. Lloyd, when your name popped up, we were literally <laughs> like screaming, said, both Whoa! of us watching on separate things. We were both sitting in bed watching, <laughs> and we were awesome. yelling. Mo yeah. was like, what are y'all yelling about in there? <laughs> we said, it Lloyd, awesome. one. That's <laughs> awesome. It was. We were so excited. We were probably more excited than you. I'm, you know, mm. I'm just saying. It. it was awesome. <laughs> Hey, Nailbender. Long time no see, brother. Hey, uh, so the topic tonight is woodworking scary or is it my fear of failure? I struggle with this. That's why a topic, topic it did like this. That's why I picked that topic is because <laughs> it doesn't matter if I'm, I've got, I've been, there's a few videos I want to make and the fears hold me back from making them. Uh, there's projects I want to attempt and fear it or have wanted to attempt. And then I finally did it. And fear held me back for a while from doing it. Even, even now on 200 and almost 300 videos on the channel, you would think it would just kind of be a thing of the past. But I think it, it just creeps up every now and then on, well, it's more a feeling of an imposter, syn an imposter syndrome where you're like, why are you doing this? You're not, you shouldn't be doing this. You know, kind of those doubts creep in. I think that happens to most all of us. And I just kind of want, I think more talking about it and getting it out there helps me get over it and maybe it'll help you too but it doesn't matter if you're just now starting woodworking or you're looking at the next project or or somebody asks you to build something and you're like oh i can't do that because that was always my first response you can ask her someone will send a message and say can you make this from dining tables to coffee tables didn't matter what it was i would look at it my immediate thought was no i can't and then i would show her i'm like look they want me to make this and she would go okay make it i'm like I, i've never made that she's so make it, you know, mm -hmm. you can do it. I know you can. And so she would really give me the confidence to do it. And uh, it was just, it's just sometimes you just got to jump in with both feet and kind of kick fear in the teeth and go for it. And that's kind of the way, uh, that's the way everything has really grown with us as far as the channel and anywhere in my career, even when I, before I was a state trooper, jumping into that was extremely scary starting mm -hmm. out like I, it was just that the was, fear of the really unknown scary. you know that's well most of the time you make this huge mountain out of a molehill and it's nothing and so once you get through it you look back and you're like why did i why don't i stress and worry about this little bitty thing and thank you mark peterson this just uh it's just one of those things where you get so tied up in your own mind you know where you're just worried about things that are going to happen they don't and i think that's a lot of times woodworking is that way because you're worried that your project's not going to come out. You're worried that you're going to fail, you know? And, and the great thing about woodworking is, is even if you mess up, like she says, it it's made of wood. It's not set in stone. So you can just start over or burn it, invite the neighbors over and have a marshmallow roast, whatever you want to do. There. <laughs> Sorry. This is the best question. Hi. The question of the night award goes to Already? Tristan Durbridge. Mm -hmm. Any advice on how to get a spouse who is afraid of power tools involved in woodworking projects? Um, <laughs> I love that question. Yeah. I, I think you would, if I was you, you start her out on a light how, duty why tool. You gotta, Tristan could be male or female. Well. So why you got to assume it's the woman that. that okay. So you take your spouse to the shop and you start them out on small projects using small tools. Don't throw them on the table saw to begin with. It would be no different than you would take, say, an eight or 10 year old kid into the shop and start teaching them woodworking. I would approach it the exact same way. You take them out there. You start with very small projects with very uh, under, not underpowered, but low powered power mm -hmm. tools. If you're going to use power tools or even hand tools, they can use hand tools to build things. And just go at it from that standpoint. Just take it really slow. If they're interested in learning now, if they're not interested in learning, you're, you're spinning your wheels. <laughs> Miss Cheryl said you go, Amy. But <laughs> Richard Stockton, Stockton said spouse, partner, registered, domestic, <laughs> hybridized. <cl> uh, <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's funny. So, yeah, because we don't want to assume that it's a female that doesn't know what she's doing. It could be male or female. My bad. Anyway. Here's here's something that, that has helped me in the shop is getting out there and doing something small and seeing that I was able to handle something makes me really excited. I want to do something a little bit bigger next time. So it's it's just like, you know, you get a kid out there and you teach them something and they they win at it, right? They get to 
experience the thrill of actually making the project and knowing they made it. And then same thing, you do the same thing with somebody who's never done it before. Woodcraft716 said, here, you can send this for me. <laughs> yeah, I tried that. She liked it for a few days and then she quit. That's what you did. You tricked Thank me. you, Jason. Thank you, Jason Young. I appreciate that. Uh, says, Matt, I've been a viewer for a few years. I really love your attitude and simple approach. God bless you and your family. Thank you so Thank much. You. God bless you. Mm -hmm. um, Scruffy Santa says, fear of failure has stopped many a project. Like Matt says, sometimes you just got to jump in with both yep. feet. Fears kill, kill more dreams than anything mm -hmm. else on earth. It's Zach Williams. Check that out. Zach Williams. Mm -hmm. His his song is Fear is a Liar is mm -hmm. one of the best songs ever written because fear will lie to you. It'll lie to you okay. and tell you you can't do it. You're I'm not good enough. Becca. You're not smart enough. You're not skilled enough. You don't have the right tools. You don't have the right shop. Those are all lies and excuses fear is giving you. Hey, Becca said you would have fun making those assumptions in my house. <laughs> That's yeah. fantastic. I will. Uh, well, and see, Becca, that could be tricky mm -hmm. because Sam. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. That's funny. That's hilarious. Richard Stockton said, do you guys have any advice for a would-be beginner who has zero space? I live in an apartment in the city. I'm not sure if I would be able to afford to rent a space. So uh, if you're interested in woodworking, what about hand tools? hand saws, hand yeah. chisels. Like you could mm -hmm. build really cool boxes and things, just small stuff like that. There's actually a video on the channel on a small workbench that uh, is made for small spaces. And so I think that might be an option for you if you don't, because you're not going to have a place to store your tools, I would assume. Big tools, table saws, miter saws, all that stuff. So you may want to look at the hand tool approach. Uh, Jeff Nichols says they got his wife out and tried something new or she get she tries something new each time, but she now does most of the pocket holes. Sweet. I like doing pocket holes. Those are fun. What? I, how many times have I done those out there? Uh, none. You are such a liar. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. It was a joke. You need to take that shirt off because you're it not. It was a joke. You're not. Rep it was a joke. You're not representing. Jeez, got such humor too. He's such a liar. He made us. He knew he laughed. <laughs> God. He was having a fun day when he made you. <laughs> I don't know if that was a compliment or not. That might have been an insult, y'all. I don't even know. <laughs> Baby, I love you. I love you. I wouldn't insult you. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Matthew Doris, can you talk about the dangerousness of tools? Both my father and grandfather have lost fingers. We're going to Ooh. use as stories of what not oh. to do. Man, it, they are. They're very dangerous tools uh, if they're not used properly. Even sometimes when you're doing things right, stuff happens and bad stuff happens. And so just be extremely cautious. Make sure all your, leave all the safety things on there. I don't have the blade guard on top of my saw because it's always gotten in the way on the Delta and on the um, saw stop. So that blade thing that goes on top, I never used it. But I always have the riving knife on because those prevent kickback and, uh, just always leave your guards in place, like on your miter saws and things like that. Even a drill, like you get a drill bound up bad enough, that sucker can turn around and break a wrist real easy. I know when we used to do construction, we had some really big drills, like double handle drills. Them things would wear you out if you wouldn't care. Thank you, 3DHP says hello from Las Vegas. You have a great channel. Thank you. Um, somebody, I, I don't want to miss it. Lincoln Woodwork says to put an ad out to local woodworkers in your area. Sometimes they will rent or share shop tools with you. Good idea. He said, I'm thinking about doing this myself to offer for others. It's a good idea, man. Mm -hmm. I thought that was pretty cool. I didn't want to get by that. And they're Mich all telling me to get you, keep you in line. Michelle Koshiel says drills can tear a rotator cuff. That would Ooh, be bad. That would be awful. Mm -hmm. Oh, the rotator cuff is a horrible thing to mess up. Mighty Sawdust. I like that logo, man. He says, after watching most of your videos and eventually one of your videos and words inspired me to just start. Started my own channel. 80 subs today. It's awesome. Becca said she had never thought of that being a thing uh, either. What? The renting of the tools and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. That's a really good That's idea. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Yep. Uh, there are no mistakes, only, only happy little accidents is what Scruffy Santa says. Yep. Uh, Jeff Sanderson wants to know if there's anybody uh, from Louisiana. Louisiana. I, know, I know we had Mark some people. Mark Benedict says he's from Louisiana. 
Do you work with a lathe at all? Mark Peterson I do wants not. to know. I, I've never been interested in a lathe. I know that there's a lot of people that do that and do. They're amazing. Well. They're awesome. We're and not they, saying they're not. Yeah. They make table legs and pins and you can they're, turn all yeah. kinds of stuff on there. And it's just, I don't, I don't, I don't know why it just, it's kind of like, I don't know, hand tools or whatever. I, I have some hand tools, but mostly I like power tools. Yeah. Um, the lathe, I, we know a few people that do those and they're <laughs> all I agree, sissies, basically from Louisiana. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty close to there. We're thinking about annex and Ashley County and Louisiana. I, I didn't want to, <laughs> I didn't want to tell you and break it to you, but it could happen. Oh, is Miss Ann on here? <clears throat> hey, Jason. <laughs> Oh, she can't chat. Jason says she's on here, no. but she can't chat. Hey, Miss Ann. I love having Miss Ann in here. Yep. It's nice to have her mm -hmm. every week. I love having her in here. Her and Jason. Sawdust is man glitter. Yep. Andy says that. <laughs> yep. And there's a lot of man glitter around our house sometimes. I'm like. It's better now that I got it this is collection. Better. It is much better. <laughs> I will say that. Tony Devil says, or no, he's new to the One Before Supporter Club. Thank you, man. Sweet. Welcome, Tony. 4321 says Blacktail Studio has on his website that uh, database of people renting tools and shops, making it available for others to look up. So that is an excellent resource. I didn't know about that. Oh, Mighty Sawdust, you just got another sub. Sweet. Michael, <laughs> he just subbed to you. Whoop, whoop. Pafile. <laughs> is that like Pfeiffer? You knew where I was going with that. I knew exactly where you were going <laughs> with it. Jim C says he's got a lathe. Always thought it would be a lot of fun. After a year, I'm about to put it up for sale. Mm. Are they a lot of, I mean, I know that there's a lot that goes into them and they make beautiful things. Is it a whole lot of tedious work? Uh, I would assume that you, it has, you have to have a pretty steady hand, I would guess, to get everything just right. Because that thing's spinning and one little uh-oh and you got to gouge all the way around, whatever you're turning. Mm -hmm. That's just me guessing. I've never touched one. Hey, John uh, McIntosh says prayers for the states affected by the tornado devastation. So. Y'all pray for people. Very much so. Um, that was there was a whole lot of uh, tragedy in that. It was bad, and, man. It was bad. You know, it's it's not over for a whole lot of people. You know, there were lives lost, and mm -hmm. but even for the ones who survived it, some of them lost everything. Mm, it was and, bad. Yeah, it's it's. Prayers for all of them. It was a horrible deal. I think um, we had a lot of people reach out to us. I think uh, initially it was supposed to travel kind of close. Well, it to hit us Arkansas or and it was north, north, yeah. uh, northeast Arkansas. So it went way away from us. Hey, Jared. But Arkansas is Arkansas. So people were checking on us and we appreciated it. So Matt came and spoke to a careers class yesterday, mm -hmm. was it? One of the kids that you spoke to, he's on here. Hey. He's on here tonight, Jared. Charles Holland says, you will find your groove. Sawdust cures a lot of fears. That's right. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of times where I delay and delay and, and talk myself out of starting something that I'm just too nervous to start about. And then when I get out there and start, you get your mind going and then you just, you're all in at that point. And the same way. I with think the CNC anything. was the, a big one for you. Mm, I'm still a little bit nervous that thing. Cause it's like, I just hate messing up wood. And I have ruined more maple than anything else, uh, hard maple. But for whatever reason, it, it keeps glitching on that wood. It doesn't do it as bad mm -hmm. on, on walnut, but I don't know. It, it's it's aggravating, but at the same time, it's it's uh, it's it's fun getting pushed out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Had I never been willing to get pushed out of my comfort zone, had she not ever been willing to get pushed out of her comfort zone, then... I wouldn't be a full-time woodworker. She wouldn't be a full-time content creator. I'm not a full-time woodworker. She wouldn't be a school teacher. Uh, she chased her dream late in life after she had kids and, and, and we had a house payments and all this stuff. And it was scary when we decided for her to go back to, or she wanted to go back full-time. We decided that we was going to do it. Hey, Gabe. And so uh, same thing with going after the state police job or going after this job. Like that mm -hmm. stuff is doing something new, doing something that you've never done before is scary because you don't know what's what the future holds. I you don't I don't know what the future holds for us. We we kind of stepped out and we did step out in faith on this, mm -hmm. and we still don't know what God has in store for us. We're just kind of following His lead and seeing what happens. You know, it's just it's scary to to make the jump. But once we made the jump, everything felt right. So, yep. 
We're just kind of being humbled by it at this point. Oh, very much so. Um, Contractor says, could you please post somewhere where we get our wonderful Christian shirts for the rest of us? (laughs) These happen to come from a a, a little small concert we went to of Zach Williams and Ann Wilson. A small concert. Wow, well, it was a good concert. I uh, <laughs> so I'll start putting links in my descriptions on the regular videos on the shirts I'm wearing. How's that? Now, some of them we have on our website, uh, 731works.com. This one come from Zach Williams concert. Um, that one come from the same concert. And Wilson. Most of the shirts we get either come from Caruso, which is K-E-R-U-S-S-O dot com. They're also uh, an Arkansas based company. And then also Mardell.com, M-A-R-D-E-L.com. But we are getting ready to have more of our designs. Yep. Coming in some. January, I'm working with Brett mm-hmm. Ferris, who's designed our board butter logo and designed several shirts for us. I've already spoken to him. He's going to get me five or six more designs to go with what we've got. And we're going to break those off onto their own space, off the off mm-hmm. of our Woodworks channel onto probably a Shopify store is what we're kind of thinking. And uh, that way we can kind of have its own thing. Becca, I like it when they get in here too, talking about my kiddos. Yeah. That they come in. I like that too. Jared's a real good one. He's a good kid. Mm. Um, Geo says, hey, from San Diego, I met someone else who watches you the other day. <laughs> that is awesome. We were in the store um, a few weeks ago and a guy walked by wearing one of our shirts, a 731 Woodwork yeah. shirt. No, he, he I, used, I used to go to his gym. He owns the gym here. And I was like, that's so weird seeing it on somebody else. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, and then today, we, my daughter comes to my classroom with a calculator, and she's like, look, and one of our logos in sticker form has been stuck on the back of one of the school's calculators. Yep. A student <laughs> has branded a calculator, and now we have to get it off. So we had to have a little lesson on stickers. Stephanie has some good advice. Is, is If the first or any step is too big or too much, break it down st- uh, that mm-hmm. breakdown step down for example what tools or materials are needed for that step and gather those things those things together yep. I like it it's a really good advice because mm-hmm. you don't want to take a step that's too big that you're not ready for because you don't want to set yourself back further it's like building a table you yeah. know you, you to finish the top to put the finish on the top, if that's what you're worried about that the finish isn't going to come out right and you're, you're just scared to start because the finish isn't going to come out right you got to build the top to even get to that step and so you got to start mm-hmm. by milling your wood down and getting everything cut and put together before you ever get to that point. So don't even worry about that till you get there. Um, how far are we from Shreveport? Three hours. Jeff Sanderson wants Three to Three hours. We don't give folks, anything in miles. Folks in the around south, here. We, we travel in hours. We travel in hours. We don't we travel do not by miles. Travel by miles. <laughs> we don't live a hundred miles from somewhere. We live an hour and a we, half. We somewhere. do not live ninety miles from Little Rock. We live an hour and a half from Little Rock. That's right. <laughs> Uh, people can research co-working spaces for shops set up for you to pay a fee to use their equipment, That's Michelle right. Cochelle says. Uh, so I think that was in regards to what we had talked about earlier, but our Georgia Peach says that you can research co-working spaces for shops. Mm-hmm. That way you can pay fee and you can use someone else's equipment. It's the same idea as chefs who rent kitchens mm-hmm. from each other. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, country miles, you know, that, that lie would be an hour there. Uh, Jace Razor, I don't know. Jace Russ Sr. Missed the whole live. I will rewatch God Bless from Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, like Jace Eraser. Jace Eraser. Jace Eraser. He knew I was going to struggle with it and he put it in parentheses. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's funny. Thank Irish has before. family in Little Rock. We go to Little Rock pretty mm-hmm. regularly. Regular, literally. Yep. Okay. I got to get re- get these states written down. You better write I'm, them I'm missing a few of them. I got, oh, I got a bunch already. Hey, Dustin. Thank you, man. Make sure if you have not dropped your state that you'll go ahead and drop that so that I can call them out. <laughs> oh, see, I didn't have a... Geo, somebody said earlier that the, the Delta was on 50% off, and I said if you can get that thing for $350 or whatever the price was... You would feel like you stole it when you come out of there. It that is an excellent deal for that saw. That is that is one of the most underrated saws in my probably because I had it for several years. But that's one of the most underrated table saws that I've that I know about. It's the Delta thirty six seven twenty five T two. I had the one that wasn't the T two. There's no difference. I don't know. Maybe they upgraded the motor or something. I don't know. 
that's an excellent saw. The fence stays true. It's got plenty of power. I was sawing like big old three inch walnut right through there. As long as you got a good blade, you'd be good to roll. And I'm assuming they're clearancing them out is what I'm assuming because the rigid looks identical to it. It's just a different color. And the rigid is now making the Delta cruiser saw. So I'm assuming that rigid is taking that over. All right. I think I'm getting them all. The motor's right a little here. bit bigger. Well, that's even better. That's an even better deal. And right now the Delta, I mean, the, the, the rigid version of that's probably 650, I would assume. And it's the exact same saw, just different color. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do the states really quick since I got all of them here because there's a lot tonight. We have Virginia, Germany, Oregon, Florida, Minnesota, Massachusetts, Wisconsin, Iowa, Delaware, Rhode Island, Alabama, Al uh, Arizona, Georgia, Texas, Michigan, Northern Japan, Kansas, Arkansas, New York, Colorado, Indiana, Illinois, Oklahoma, Ohio, uh, Nevada, Canada, California, Maryland, Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, Mississippi, Louisiana, Maine, Portugal, uh, Missouri, if I didn't say it already. And then Teesside, UK, and they said it's near Europe and St. Martin. Do you all drink tea? <laughs> oh, well, my I'm goodness. On don't, the side? No, I'm, don't you have like tea time every day? Is that a thing or is that just TV? No, so, can all Canadians say A? No. Yes. That's not how this works. Have you watched the Santa Claus? <gasps> Welcome to Canada, eh? <laughs> <laughs> North Dakota. All Arkansans say y'all. It's just how it works. We do wear shoes most of the time. Sometimes you get caught without your shoes on in the shop, though. Just saying. You may or may not have been in the last video with your shoes off in the shop. I, I was doing laundry by the door to the <clears> shop, <throat> and you pulled me out there. <laughs> Pennsylvania. I don't think I said that one. Just a beginner says, hey, Matt, I want to thank you. You have inspired me to start a journey as a woodworker. Awesome. As well as uh, other YouTubers, your approach is comforting to watch, unlike the super pros, uh, not that you aren't. <laughs> I appreciate Wyoming. that. I appreciate it. I'm glad that the videos are helpful. That's I want the channel to be helpful to you, uh, whether that be finding a tool or doing a project. And I'm I'm just figuring it out as I go, y'all. I, I don't have this figured out. Most projects that I make, unless I've made it before, I, I just stumble my way through it. I don't have a plan most of the time. So They saw my feet. Everybody saw you. I'm so sorry. I need a pedicure. My toenail <laughs> polish looks like it's a, a French manicure because <laughs> it's grown out to the end. Adam, but, um, hold on, really quick. We have somebody on here who is originally from Ethiopia. I thought that's that cool. was pretty cool. Yeah. It's Johannes Warku. Very cool. Thought that was cool. Anyway, Adam Embry wants to know if we're going to Workbench Con. Uh, no, we're not. We um, we we've have actually decided we're going the other way <laughs> in January, so we won't be able to make the. I don't know mm -hmm. when Workbench Con. February, maybe, I think. But we're going to go in January out west. We've got to, we've got to do some stuff for the uh, business. And so I, I'm i already, uh, it's just, it's a lot of stuff. We're, we're the next few weeks are going to be. Mm -hmm. They packed. Oh. Mark Peterson says, what brand of blades do you cut hardwood with? I love CMT blades, specifically the chrome version of the blade, CMT chrome. If you get them on taketools.com, you can use uh, code 731CMT10, save you 10 more percent off of them. I think they may be on sale right now. If you go to taketools.com, super fast shipping there. And that's the blades I like. Uh, the ITK Extreme, or there's a CMT ITK Extreme blade that's very similar to the Diablo line of blades. Matter of fact, the guy that um, invented or made the Diablo line is now working for CMT. So he kind of took all that stuff over there with him. And they make really good blades. They're a little less expensive than the chrome blades, but the chrome blades are really good. Hall says uh, Amy is ready to fly. She's again. not ready. Not really ready, but I don't really have a choice. We'll but be she's flying. Doing it. Uh, Lord willing, we'll be flying quite a bit in the next few months. So, yeah, this time we got connecting flights. So we got to fly from here to St. Louis and St. Louis out to Vegas. We're not going to the casino. And then <laughs> we're actually going up into Utah. And then on the way back, we're going. Uh, we got a Dallas. No, we're well. Denver. He goes to Denver, to Denver. and then back to Little Rock. Mm -hmm. Um, Jorge Mendoza said, "Never thought about it, but I took your advice to clean my saw blades before cutting my exotic hardwoods. Seemed to help. Thank yep. you for It'll that. Make a big difference. How do you suggest to properly clean the blades? So 
matter of fact, I asked that question last night. I've been using Blade and Bit Cleaner by Bow Shield. However, I asked James King last night on Woodworking YouTubers live stream. Uh, y'all, if y'all not watching that, it's a good show every Monday night at six. He um he suggested Simple Green has a purple. It's a purple colored Simple Green. What Simple Green purple? He said that stuff works excellent on saw blades. So I'm gonna actually order some of that. Jason, I really do want to try that. What we try? Skydep, skydiving. Yeah, it'd be all fun and games to you parachute on one. <laughs> Two young boys, where'd you get the gator blade for cutting rebar? I found it locally at uh, Barton's is the name of the store. Amazon should have those. Uh, it's just a, uh, you could get a metal cutting blade for your circular saw. All right, Charlie, you did make it in time. I hey, hope hey, you're hey. feeling better. Me too. Drop a note, let us know how you're doing. We've been worrying about yep. you. Y'all do not forget to hit that thumbs up. Georgia Peach is reminding you. Mm-hmm. Hit that thumbs up. I actually just did mine too. So, but well, that looks like I'm, a thumbs down to me. That's a th- you are full of lies tonight. <laughs> I does smell, smell like, like beef, beef and, and cheese. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? You know what time it is? Power tip time. You got a power tip? No, oh. that was your turn. Nope. Power tip. If you didn't see my short today, you should probably go watch it. Uh, the power tip is opportunity is missed by most people because it's disguised in work clothes, basically. Opportunity is missed by work, most people because it's wearing overalls is the name of, is the quote it's really attributed to Thomas Edison, but I couldn't prove that, so I didn't put his name on there. The reason I say that is uh, it takes work to get anywhere, whether it be advancing in your job or uh, anything you have to work at it and it's not going to come easy and it's not supposed to come easy. If it's coming, if it comes easy to you, it's not worth it. It's just, it wasn't worth your time and effort, whatever little effort you put into it. But if you're working hard for something, whether that be your college degree, whether that be, uh, being a good, good dad, or even a good husband, if you, you work hard at that kind of stuff, it'll pay off eventually, but you just got to be, you, you got to be there. You got to show up every day. You got to be determined at it. And it's going to take long hours and hard work. It's just part of it. it. The grind is part of it. It doesn't mean you grind 24 hours a day, seven days a week for the rest of your life. But there's certain there's a season of grind to get to that next level. It's, when she was going to college, she spent many nights working on homework for hours on end trying to get through that stuff. And then when it, when she finally got that degree, after years of chasing it, it was it was so sweet. I can still remember the day she graduated. And the look on her face, it was just awesome to see her achieve the dream. And it's just part of it. So don't be afraid to to work for it. And that was a long power tip. That was, was a good one. Don't be scared of someone younger than you doing it, no matter what it is. You know, yep. that, that was something that I was really scared of going back mm-hmm. to school, graduating next to 22-year-olds. You know, they're, they're getting their bachelor's and I'm getting mine. But... On the other side of me, there may have been a 60-year-old, and I was 34 mm. or so at the time. So, yeah, don't be, don't be scared of it, no matter what. Um, J- GMC says, if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. I love it. <laughs> I, love I love that. <laughs> Never heard that, yep. but I like it. Um, go ahead and tell them about our Facebook community really quick. Yeah, if you go to... Facebook.com slash groups slash 731 Woodworks. That's where we have our Facebook community. It's growing every day. And we have some amazing moderators that keep everything nice and polite. We only allow polite stuff in there. Nobody's going to bash you or talk bad about you or get on to you for asking a question that may have been answered or asked and answered two days before because you don't know that. You just come there. You need an answer. That's what the community is there for. It's for support. It's for us to help each other. If you see somebody that has a question, you can answer that. And uh, that's what it's for. It's you just have two awesome. questions you have to answer in order to join. Yep. So make sure you don't skip those questions. Okay? It is. Do you agree to the rules? And, and read the rules. Basically, it's be tool? nice. Don't cuss. Mm-hmm. And then uh, because kids are on there too. Or I say kids. You know, they're young. We do people. have a lot of young young. And people then what's your favorite tool? And yep. that's going to keep the riffraff out is what the point of those are. Uh, H2 says Tesla probably said it and Edison stole it from him. <laughs> That's probably right. <laughs> Stephen Kofed says, amen, Matt. <laughs> I missed Utah. Yep. Grant. I saw, I saw it, but then I missed it. I missed Utah. Oh man. Utah. Oh man. 
Uh-oh, I don't know what that means. Oh, seven, we have 17,000 members on there now? Yep. Man, growing that's fast. really growing. Yeah. Uh, they basically say, don't bring the sass. Take that to another page. Be positive. Be encouraging. And don't be afraid to ask questions and such. Thank yep. you, Becca. I like that. Yep. <laughs> it's there to build everybody up because... Lift there's enough other neg- up, there's enough negative we deal with enough negativity all over the world you shouldn't have to deal with it there when you're just trying to Mm-mm. either show off what you've made because we love seeing what you're making or just asking a question like hey what finish would you use on this or what would you price this or where can i sell these items like that's what it's there for is to support each other and to help everybody build each other up um rn j Scheller says what's my email my email is, uh, it's original, y'all, outlaw0731 at yahoo.com. <laughs> thank <laughs> it's you, It's real Cassandra. original there. <laughs> oh, thank you, Cassandra. We've, we've really, 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 really grown fast over the last few months, and mm-hmm. it's been such a blessing. And yeah. I'm not, I'm, I'm rarely on Facebook now. I did get on there and make a negative post, I think, not on the community. Was that last night? I was so frustrated. It wasn't negative. You just I, said you were frustrated with your kidney I was, stone. I'm so frustrated with my kidney stone, and I tried to stay off Facebook, but I was like, man, really? That was just kind of a way to let my family mm-hmm. know that I'm, you know, that's how we talk sometimes. No, I was just frustrated. I hate kidney stones, y'all. David. Croon says he, he loved the title night, just had the scariest moment. Woodworking when the Arborn hut came off my table saw while using a dado stack. Sent blades flying. Holy. That would be, yeah, heart, oh. heart stopping. Oh. That would be really, really scary. Yikes. Uh, yeah, Becca says we're not going to shy away from removing things that aren't bringing positive value to others. It's that simple. Um you don't have to believe what we believe. You don't have to like what we like. You don't have to, you know, none of that is a requirement of the community. The only requirement basically is just to be a nice human. That's mm-hmm. it. Just be nice. Yeah. Be that's kind. It. Kind people are a kind of people. Hey, Damon. Yeah. That's, that's all it is, y'all. Hey, Mr. Larry. Thank uh, you. Gabe wants to know if there's in, any injuries. I'm hoping not since they didn't post that there was. <laughs> Mr. Larry Norris says, I found your channel a few days ago and instantly recognized that Arkansas accent. Oh, my you goodness. You really inspired me to gather up my random tools and start putting some wood together. Get after me. Mason says he's 15, joined the Facebook community yesterday. It's been very inspiring awesome. seeing other people's work. The woodworking environment is very positive. Why aren't you That's a well-spoken 15-year-old? Mm-hmm. I'm, I don't know if Mason's a boy or girl, though. I'm not making any assumptions. Hoss, tonight. you didn't you didn't get those spicy <laughs> presents last night when you was here. I, I thought she sent you that bag. Oh, uh, never mind. I ate them all. I'm playing. She ain't made none. She had made. I have made the some. The last time we made some, it's been about a month or two ago. Oh, no, and then ago. I ate all those. Mm-hmm. He did. True story, y'all. <laughs> James C says his family came from Arkansas. I'm not from Arkansas. I'm from Mississippi. You sure sound like you're from Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> You should have heard me before. Hoss, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd awesome. get her make some. Hoss, I would make those for y'all. You know I would. Uh, BW Arts says, dust, dust extractor or shop vac with filter for fine dust collection. A dust extractor. If you want fine dust ex- collection, then you'll want to get the dust extractor with a HEPA filter. I have... A DeWalt one that has two HEPA filters actually, and then I have the Festool. The Festool does a better job. It's just a it's just a better tool, but it costs three times the price of the DeWalt. The DeWalt does an excellent <clears throat> job too. It's just that the Festool does better. But the DeWalt, I've used it for years, uh, three four years probably, especially for sanding and things. Like I I really think I actually have a video coming out in a couple of days, and uh, well it'll probably be next week, and that. That's one of the things I talk about in there is that if I was picking between a, a dust collector and a dust extractor first, I would go with a dust extractor because I think it makes you safer. But I don't have any scientific proof. I just think it's that way because of that fine sanding dust. So Josh Patton says it won't be too long and you'll have 4 million subs and you'll <laughs> have to make more workbenches for all of your new plaques <laughs> with a thumbs up and a big muscle. Thank um, you. Mason is a boy. 
He let me know. He's a boy. Done projects with wood for almost two years. So that's since he was 13. Yeah. Made fishing lures and now have decided to do bigger projects. Put my work in another version of the painted tree. Thank you, guys. Cool. That's pretty cool. Some fishing lure YouTube videos would be cool. Yeah, it would. Making them out of wood, that'd be cool. Um, Shane Warren, I am from the Delta. I'm from Greenville. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Miss... Sippy, yep. Mississippi. Mississippi. That's Mississippi. From the sip. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Jared says, he's one of my students, y'all. He says, in class, we hear that Mississippi accent all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes it, it slips out them slippy lips. Slips <laughs> <laughs> yeah. out. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. You know, he swears that I still said this when we started she dating. Did. No. She but said it. My mother still speaks true mississippian so she's like this is my daughter and i'm like oh, daughter daughter i'm like no mom it's daughter here <laughs> we say daughter in arkansas you say that here <laughs> i don't say daughter keith senior says i've come to realize that i love woodworking but i hate staining and painting i wish Ooh. i could sell everything ready to finish mm -hmm. i don't too much mind too much this i just don't like sanding because it takes so long and it's so boring you're just like it's just really boring. But most people feel that way. Most. Some people enjoy it. Some people don't. You may have to get mowing here. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. You can bow out if you need to. My current power tools include a router and wind nine-inch bandsaw. What should be next? Uh, a table saw. If you don't have a table saw, table saw. It'll change your woodworking because it's just, it. you can do so much with them. You can cross cut. You can rip. You can make jigs for them to build frames and crosscut sleds. And they're just so, so versatile. Gabe said that sanding sucks, but milling is fun. Yeah. I don't mind the milling. I don't mind the, the planing, the jointing, the, the cutting down. I don't mind that at all, but just the sanding because it's just boring. It feels like I'm not doing anything. It's like, rawr, rawr, rawr. PJ says you got to dance while you sand. That's the secret. Oh, well, I you need dance. to be dancing. I can't. I sing. You need to be dancing. I don't sing well, but I sing. Y'all y'all don't have any idea how much singing is edited out of my videos. Like, a lot. Like, a lot. And I can't sing, so that's even worse. When we're in the house, if if we're here while he's doing that, we're like... What's that awful noise? No, we're like, what is he doing out there? Because you hear the sander, and you hear something else, and you go out there, and... Like he's Are you not, killing a cat out here? He is not just singing. He is like passionate about what he's I'm singing. Down, yes, he is like bringing the house down out there. He's like moving with it and stuff. I don't even know how he keeps the sander in his hand. You're kind of dancing. Man, I'm moving a little bit. Well, I mean, you're moving. I sway. Am I swaying? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to sway about that. All right, Charlie Guy says, can you speed up sanding with using a belt sander or would that cause damage? I, every time I've ever used a belt sander, it causes very bad streaking, especially in pine. I've never tried it on hardwoods, but I used to try to belt sand the tops of my pine tables when they weren't lining up just right. And man, did that would just leave some nasty gouges. Uh, when you put the finish on, you would just see it look like just something drug all the way down it. It's probably how my, it was maybe my technique or whatever, but it just didn't work out for me. So I, I've got a belt sander. It's out there, but I can't see it the last time I had it, had it out. Uh, uh, David, no, no, thank you. What? I sh you should upload it to the Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that going viral. Mm. Uh, let's see. Uh, Amy, if you get gold coin grass tincture is natural herbal remedy. Dissolve kidney stones. And mm. hmm. I don't have my gallbladder, so I know it's not gall. Oh, I passed a gallstone. That's, I had my gallbladder removed. It was an emergency surgery. Because uh, I passed a gallstone. That was horrible. Yeah, that was bad pain there. I don't know if you can get any of that around here. Yeah, David, I sure do need to do that, though. That would be hilarious. I'm never singing in the shop again. I'm not here when you do it. Although sometimes, y'all, I peek in on the camera. <laughs> it's on my break. I'm like, I wonder if he's doing something. I peek in on Rude. Me. Being spied on. What's up, E.T.? <laughs> need to have you back on the show, man. Oh, goodness. All the singing would be funny. <laughs> when 
when I'm in my car by myself, I can, you know, I like have a whole concert. Yeah. So, uh, we went to Zach Williams concert Friday night and, um, I told her, I was like, when he started singing, I said, that's exactly how I sound in the show. Mm -hmm. Exactly. In my own mind. Anyway, <laughs> when I start editing back, I'm like, uh, cut that part out. If I ain't singing, I ain't showering, driving, or woodworking. <laughs> I like it. Chaser That's Racer. Awesome. Hey, I got his name down now. Chaser, Chaser Racer. Racer. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, Becca Mason said that he makes sure he has his safety equipment on first. First yep. thing before anything that he does. He plans on keeping at it. That's good. Yep. Ear protection, <laughs> safety eye protection. First. Don't forget about dust protection. That's something I neglected early on. I've since picked up a little better on it. I've always kept those RZ masks around and I, I like those. They work really well. And I've even way back on the channel, you'll see me wearing those. The future 731 album coming this summer. <laughs> Brian Bolton says. <laughs> Brian Bolton, that's a famous singer. And Stephanie says that I am not being rude. I'm just making sure you're safe. He was peeking in to see if I'm singing. I have to check on you. You're like having a toddler sometimes. Yeah, that's probably true. I have to check on you. I'll worry about you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you probably do need to check on me sometimes. I know. I love you mm -hmm. too much. I don't want anything to happen to you. Parody of a Christmas <laughs> song. Uh, do you have a? Do you wear a particular brand of safety glasses? Justin wants to know. I I get them on Amazon. I just search for anti fog clear glasses. Uh, I like the anti fog ones because uh, when you wear that RZ mask. They don't fog up as bad. Uh, they still sometimes might when it's extremely humid outside, but for the most part, no, I don't. I just Google. Did you say Brian Bolton was a famous singer? Yeah, Brian Bolton's a famous singer. It's like from the 80s. You better Google it and tell me for sure. I think <laughs> you it's mean free. Michael Bolton? No, I think it's Brian. I just realized what she said when Michelle Cochelle was like, um, <laughs> did you say Brian Bolton? Yeah. Is that not right? <laughs> no. That's, Michael Bolton. No. You don't remember him? See, Brian's his brother. Y'all probably don't know his other albums. <laughs> That's like Piff the Magic <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's funny. Somebody asked me what kind of songs I sing. So <clears throat> what I like to sing is I, I sing a lot of Christian music. Uh, there was Jesus. I built that one out oh many, many gosh. times. Uh, but I also like <laughs> NF. So I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm kind of a rapper too, in case you don't know. And then uh, what else? Uh, I don't know, but Brian country. Bolton just found out he's a singer. He says, so <laughs> OMG. I can sing. <laughs> singer and didn't even know it. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. I needed a good laugh. <laughs> <laughs> my dust mask also masks my karaoke in the <laughs> shop. That's funny. Skillet. Yep, I like skillets. That's hilarious. Um, I, I'm I'm multifaceted. So I got a YouTube uh, music that comes with YouTube Premium, and it just like what's really cool about that is it keep it has super mixes. You can just click it and go. It's like everything is in one the first super mix, and then the rest of them are like broken down by genres. And I hit that first one, and it'll just throw all kinds of stuff in there that I that I've previously liked or something similar to that. And uh, matter of fact, I got uh, they send you an email at the end of the year telling you what was your top song listened to, and it was it was actually this one. I'd listened to it forty five times, I think, this year. And NF was actually had the most playtime of any artist, so I listen to a lot of NF when I'm working out. And NF's a he's a Christian. He doesn't rap Christian raps, but he's a he's a he's a Christian, and some of his songs are Christian rap, but some of them aren't. Some are just rapping about his life and stuff and but they're really good they're powerful because mm -hmm. he and i grew up very similar i think uh he uh his mother was cornell's music his mother was addicted to pills until she overdosed and died my mom was addicted to pills until she overdosed and is now in a nursing home so like we have it really resonates with me i don't know mm -hmm. it just his music really talks to me so um they, they're saying they would up their membership to hear you sing. <laughs> y'all don't want to hear that <laughs> We go from two hundred twenty-five thousand. They want to hear to, Steph wants to hear some of your Christian rap. We we go down to from two hundred twenty-five thousand subs to zero. <laughs> if I started singing. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my goodness, Patrick! I recently lost mm. two fingers stupidly, oh, and now my thirteen-year-old daughter helps me glue up our projects. Mm. Jeez, Bad. so sorry about that. Mm. That's terrible. Uh, yeah. Mark Faust. 
No, go ahead. It says, in the past live show, you said you wouldn't upgrade your DeWalt 735 cutter head. I have a 12-inch two-blade planer. What is your recommendation? Um, if, if you want... Like if you're looking for like a helical head, uh, well, Huda makes some helical head uh, planers that are going to be reasonably priced. And I've got the Wahuda joiner and I like it a lot. So it may be something you could look into there. As far as the um, other, if you wanted to look at a 735X, then they, they're really good. They work well for what they do. But I don't know. That's probably what I'd do. That's so weird. What you doing? Messaging? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're killing me with these comments. <laughs> yeah, the hour does go by fast, Gruffy Santa. Uh, Mo says she told Mia to jump on the bed if she wants to see me, and she did, so now she wants to bring her in here. No, Mo. No. <laughs> She's too <laughs> difficult. Michael Mason <laughs> for a five-second singing preview just for us. Are failing that coffee for me. <laughs> Super chat. Thank you, Michael. That's fine. Oh, that's going to be the coffee then. I've been trying to drink more coffee to make the stone pass. Um, I don't what? know. I don't think that's going to work. It's liquid. <laughs> David said, I don't sing a hum. We, uh, we had a telemarketer call. And now when telemarketers call, we put our phone on speaker and we turn up Christian music really loud and just play it to get until they hang up. Today we had a very, liked it. very determined he telemarketer. He refused, he refused to be the first one to hang up. So he started pounding things, banging and banging. So we just turned the music up. And then I was like, wait a minute. I took my phone off speaker, but I left the, the speaker next to him. He finally hung up <laughs> after 20 minutes. But he, had, he got a whole lot of Jesus in that 20 minutes. <laughs> Jason Jaser has been a member for three months of our One Before oh. Supporter Club. Karaoke time, he says. All right. I'm going to do a karaoke album. I'll see how it is. Not tonight. Uh, I hadn't practiced. I got to go practice. Gotcha. Gotcha. What software do you use for CNC? I use... Thank you, Becca. Pseudo Rex wants to know. I use uh, Carbide Create. This is what come with or was free. And then I've got the car by create pro version. I really don't even know what it did, but it was a pro version. And I thought I should probably get pro version. So I did. So I don't know. That's what I use. A lot of people like Vectric or fusion. I think fusion 360 or something like that are much more advanced, but I just use the, the beginner version. Becca, let me see if uh, there may be a way. I mean, people order desserts in the mail. We do. Surely I could send her some. Of my cookies, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When the dog food comes in, it comes with dry ice. So we'll just pack it no. in No. What? We're not doing it's sealed. that. That's awful, Becca. I will not put it in there. I promise. It's, see, it's not like the dog food's on the dry ice. The dry ice is still just dry ice. It's cold. It keeps it in an insulated package. You can ship it insulated in a package cold. It's not contaminated. If I took that dry ice out and then I was like, here... Here's, I went and bought you some dry ice. You'd be like, oh, thank you. And you could pack it and you, and you would never know. So what would be the difference? Why would you be buying me dry ice? To ship cold stuff. That's how it works. I would ask you where you got that from. The ice place. <laughs> <laughs> Down there on the corner of that ice shop. Yeah, it don't come like that. Somebody's getting it from somewhere. Beck, I'll figure it out. <laughs> we want to include him on that. Mm. See, she Good night, cares. Jeff Nichols. She said, <laughs> she said it was uh, it's sealed. Can't argue with either. Oh my gosh, <laughs> dog food is food safe. Well, this isn't even dog food. The food that our dogs get is real stuff. It's that um, that healthy stuff. We've had to put our dogs it's called Ollie. Yeah, we had to put them on those a uh, diet that's made with real food, and he has lost almost five pounds. Our dog, he is almost at his healthy weight now. Mm -hmm. Looks really good. He was really well overweight. For a little dog, five pounds is a bunch. Yeah. he He's supposed to be 9 <clears> to 11 <throat> pounds, and he was 19. And he's down to 15. Gabe Smith said he's he almost 20. In case you were warning, the nice men on the phone said there's still an extended warranty on your 60 Honda <laughs> suit. <laughs> yeah. And, and my Hilton rewards are yeah, they're available. Adding up. They're adding up. Yeah. 
I'll make small cakes for a living every day of my life. <laughs> Jeff Sanders. <laughs> uh, Mila, I think you can use a CNC to sand. Thank you. There Moses. actually are. Uh, Cats Moses has a video out where he went and toured a factory that uses uh, basically robots to sand. They're, they're not CNCs, but they're robot arms that know how much pressure to put down. And it, it can be automated. It just costs a little bit. By that, I mean a lot. <laughs> Becca said she'd eat my food for the rest of her <laughs> life. <laughs> it is good. It is good. I would, I so am ready to do that. Um, uh, my own channel with cooking mm -hmm. and stuff. I'm, I'm just going to have to wait until the summer to, first of all, we've got, I've got to learn how to do the editing and all that. Five minute warning. Five minute warning. Five minutes, guys. Five minutes. Very man, we hadn't, we hadn't picked a topic out yet. Usually the way that works is about, 12 Ooh. hours before the show i come up with oh, a topic oh we do idea. need to have a good one for that but though. uh the 28th we'll do a year in review kind of a mm -hmm. state of the channel i guess you'd kind of call it and uh kind of thought about doing one of those and uh, so we'll do that on the 28th and i'd like to get some more guests in starting after that thank you miss cheryl yeah i'm ready to do it too i've got so many things that i make i just i'm gonna have to start writing down what i use I'm bad about not writing stuff down. I just kind of go, okay, here, 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 here. She salt bays it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I did not do the mail call. Ah. Uh, it's right here. Thank you, Orangey. You sure did not. This uh, was sent to me by Pastor Derek Renshaw, uh, blessedhomebooks.com. This is an open Thou Mine Eyes. It's 150 devotional outlines from Genesis to 2 Kings. This is a really cool book. Thank you very much for that. Got this in this week, and I'm I'm bad about going to the uh, PO box. PO box, yeah. Because on the other side of town, it's like four, three, four mile drive. You know, all the way across town. But we get now we check it once a week. <laughs> this is from Bob Quint, uh, friend and fan of, of Seven Thirty One really Works. Cool too. Uh, this is awesome. He built us a plaque. It says, "Not perfect." Just forgiven. And it's got the cross on there. So. And he hand did that. Yep. He did this with the router. This is the mm -hmm. first time he said he's uh, mm -hmm. ever hand routed anything. And he did an excellent job with that. And the wood is just beautiful. Check that out. It's really nice. Thank you, man. Thank both of y'all for that. Those are really awesome. Um, Jim Harder says that he's gearing up to start his own channel after the first of the year. How do you go about picking a good business or channel name? That's hard. Yeah. You need to pick something personal. that's meaningful to you, but something that's also, um, I don't, I mean, I you think, can go with your name and yeah, build your name try up. Not, try to Google it first and make sure there's not something out there mm -hmm. that's already really similar to it. But you, I mean, even, even looking on YouTube now, there's, there's woodworking Nightly. channels that, that are woodworks, Lincoln street woodworks, James or Kings fine woodworking, married man woodworks. You got all kinds, 731 woodworks. And then there's some that at one time it was woodworking for mere mortals. Now he's changed it to Steve Ramsey to his name and, uh, Izzy Swan, you know, he's does all types of stuff, mostly woodworking. And, you know, it just depends on what you want to do. Like if you just use your name or you can come up with a woodworking name. Hey, we don't live like two miles from the post office. We live like six minutes. All right. Yeah. We don't live in, in miles. We live well, it in depends on traffic. Miles. You know, if, if it's evening traffic. Becca said that we don't, we yeah, have, you know, right. like three I know. I'm just trying to clarify. <laughs> if, if it's heavy traffic, then it's going to be about 10 minutes, maybe 15. It does not take 10 minutes to get to the post office from we'll our We'll time it next time. 3.30 girls are in. It'd take it longer than that because you get stopped by that one red light. That it's the school bus that uh hold you up, not a red light. The red lights here are not like that. Uh, peace out, Ross. Is there only one red light between here and there? <laughs> no. No, there's three. Three. Three whole red lights. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, to get two miles down the road in Dallas takes like thirty minutes. To get two miles down the road here is like one minute. <laughs> I mean, it's like you're there. One minute. <sighs> One minute warning. I could get to the post office during that time. <laughs> no, you couldn't. You could get close. I got a though. turbo. <laughs> you could get close. Though. Uh, I like my turbo. <laughs> <laughs> That's just too far out of the way. 
three red lights. How many people in your town? Not we got a whole about by nine. No, we thousand. don't have just three red lights. I mean, there's three red lights between us and the post office. Our town has more than three. Yeah, it has like four. Two more. <laughs> there's no wait. One, babe. There's more two, than that. three, four red lights between here and the written to the post office, and then there's one down there. That's five. That's all we got. That's not all we have. Name the other one. Is that all we have? That's all we got. There's four. Well, you got uh, Old Warm Road. Uh huh. And then Walgreen. Walgreen. And then down uh, by Walmart. Yeah. And then by the post office. Oh, that's right. I forgot the one at uh, the post office. We don't office. have to stop we don't, it You don't have to go to. You don't technically have to go through it to get there. Uh, Joshua Patton says, Matt, do you have a custom iron to stamp your projects with? What do you recommend? I don't have one. Uh, I've, I've never bought one, so I don't, I can't recommend you one. Yeah. Why don't we call them green lights instead of red light? Cause I can't see the green color. Oh. So we call them red light. And <laughs> Jason said we're the town celebrities. My <laughs> students, they think that sometimes they're like, it's so cool. You know, but anyway. They're kids. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny. Well, it is 8 o'clock. Yep. I'm going to let you guys go. And uh, I'm going to try something new with a video coming out uh, Thursday. So you, if you watched the live stream last week, you may not like it. Uh, but if you didn't, you may like it. So we'll see. Yep. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to test it and see what happens. It'll be probably be the only one we do that like that for a while. But uh, it, it was a good opportunity for me to take content and repurpose it and try to mm -hmm. give it new life. Yep. We'll try it. All right. Y'all have a good night. Good night. Thank y'all. Bye.